Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spencers. I'm Simone bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel that you love so much. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spencers merch collection, get you the classic tea, the wavy tea that I'm rocking right now, or the brand new. Jalen Maker Harris T and the last link is subscribe to our podcast Tough Calls where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, reporters, former current athletes chopping up with us on the podcast. And lastly, guys, turn your notification bells on because you know the videos been coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. Speaking of live, I haven't gone live in a minute, y'all. I haven't gone live in a minute. It's just been hard for me to schedule a time to go live, but I really want to go live again. Um... What days of the week do y'all think is best for me to go live? Because I'm going to try to be more, um, you know, new month, new me. You know, when the beginning of a month, you all like discipline. I'm going to do this this month. You guys know November is coming up. So I'm going to try to be more consistent in November going live. I don't think I've been live in months. What day of the week do you think is best for me to go live? Um, let me know. Also, let me know. Uh, me and Dylan might be doing some more tough calls topics. So watch out for those videos especially later this week, probably Friday and Saturday, the tough calls are going to drop. And Saturday we play the Hawks. I want to go live during the Hawks game. Um, Sixers, Hawks, and have Dylan, because you know he's Hawks, I'm Sixers. Um, But I don't know how that's going to work out because I think he has a soccer game at the same time. But if we do a Sixers, Hawks post game, would y'all be into that? I think if we lose, y'all not going to want to do the post game. You know, fingers crossed we're going to win. But this is a Eagles video, so let's get into the Eagles. We gotta talk about Gardner Minshew. And I never wanted to do a Gardner Minshew video. Because why should I ever be speaking about Gardner Minshew? He's supposed to be our QB3, you know what I'm saying? The fact that we've even come to have to me having a comment on Gardner Minshew, we're already in dangerous, dangerous waters. We're already in scary waters. The fact that we're even mentioning Minshew's name, it's scary hours, okay? And it ain't because it's Halloween, okay? Guys, I got some stuff written down. So, of course, we traded Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco was our QB, too. Once we traded Joe Flacco, Minshew has been inactive in every game. Now Minshew is active QB, too. Y'all, we cannot start calling for Gardner Minshew. We cannot. We cannot. So we traded Joe Flacco. We got a six-round pick from the Jets. We traded him back to the Jets. You know, I'm going to send you where you came from. You know what I'm saying? Send him back home. Anyway, he's back from the Jets. He's back with the Jets. We got a six-round pick. Could turn to a fifth-round pick. Zach Wilson got hurt for the Jets. So Joe Flacco, I guess, is going to be starting. He um, Wilson's going to be out for a couple of weeks. So, it could be a fifth-round pick, depending on how many snaps Joe Flacco gets. But, who shouldn't be getting any snaps is Gardner Minshew, guys. Right now, okay, we have to stick this season out with Jalen Hurts. Because if we don't, like I said, Jalen Hurts might not be our quarterback for the long term, but for this season, he's our quarterback. If we go through another season making a quarterback change, who's going to want to play for us? What kind of continuity are we going to show? We're going to have every quarterback shaking in his boots, thinking if I mess up, if I have three bad games, if I have a bad game, then my spot is under a microscope. Like I said, we're finishing this season with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts might not be our starting quarterback next season. Hopefully he will. But for the rest of this season, Jalen Hurts is our quarterback. It's the reason why Gardner Minshew was a third-string quarterback on the Philadelphia Eagles. He had his Minshew mania time. Everybody has a little fleet in time where they look good, look hot, new shiny toy. But it's the reason why he's not starting anywhere in the NFL. Case Keenum is starting somewhere. Jameis Winston is starting somewhere right now. 
Ben Roethlisberger still has a starting job. Joe Flacco, 40 year old, about to be starting. Love him, but Jacoby Brissett, NC State Wolfpack. You know what I'm saying? That's my quarterback. Was starting for the Dolphins for a minute. All these quarterbacks starting over Gardner Minshew. It's a reason why Gardner Minshew has not been starting in the league. It's a reason why he was available for a third QB3 spot. Leave him there at QB3. Now, Gardner Minshew is still young. He's 25 years old, and I know he's had more starts than Jalen Hurts since 2019. He started in 20 games. Um, I think his completion rate was 62.9%. Um, his 20, he had a 7-13 record with the Jags. He had 20 starts in 23 games since 2019. Gardner Minshew, yes, he's different than Jalen Hurts in the fact that Gardner Minshew is a gunslinger. He will sling the ball. But he will throw some picks, too. My thing is, Gardner Minshew is still a work in progress. So why would we uproot what we have and start another project? We're working on a project. That's Jalen Hurts. So why would we bring in another project and start some drama? And Gardner Minshew is nowhere near as athletic as Jalen Hurts is. And I know some of y'all want to say, Gar Gardner Minshew basically has no athleticism. I know some of y'all want to say, uh, Jalen Hurts, y'all question Jalen Hurts' arm strength, his deep ball. But at the same time, we don't know where the blame is right now. Is it Nick Sirianni? Is it Jalen Hurts? And I do agree with y'all. I do agree. How are we going to find out who the problem is if we don't change one of the variables? You know what I mean? I believe our problem is Nick. Sirianni. Because another Nick was having Jalen Hurts looking like SEC Offensive Player of the Year. And that was Nick Saban. It was another Nick S. And it wasn't Iriani. It was Aben. We've seen what Jalen Hurts can do. Even though he was doing it on the collegiate level, we see what he can do when he has an offense that's built around him. Nick Sirianni isn't doing that. Nick is the problem, and if you want to take it further and say Howie's the problem, sure. Nick, Howie, they're the problem. It's not Jalen Hurts. Quarterbacks have to have offenses that's built around their strengths. He doesn't have that. So, if we, we all can agree Jalen Hurts is a work in progress, but Gardner Minshew is not the answer. He's another progress, work in progress. So why not continue to work on what we already started and build some continuity, some trust, and some a foundation in Philly? Because we've been nothing but drama lately. And all we're going to do is stir the pot again if we bring in Gardner Minshew. So we need to stop. Don't even bring up Gardner Minshew. It's just causing confusion and causing drama. Now, if y'all want to address, like I said, Jalen Hurst might not be our long-term quarterback. I agree with that. But Jalen freaking hurts better in this season as our starting quarterback. Like I said, if we make off-season changes, fine. I'm cool with that. But last season, we had some quarterback drama and made mid-season changes. We're not doing that again this year. We need to build continuity. Continuity. <laughs> exactly. So, like I said, we'll see what happens versus the Lions. The Lions are a garbage team. Jalen Hurts should ball out against the Lions. And like I said, we shouldn't. I'm not saying Jalen Hurts is our future, but he's our 2021-2022 season. We can't start bringing that bull back. We can't start bringing that bring out so-and-so. We can't. We can't be that. We can't be that team, y'all. Let's just make it to the end of the season. Then we'll reassess what we're going to do at quarterback if it's not Jalen by the end of the season. But make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. Let me know what you want to hear in Tough Calls. And remember, let me know what day of the week I should start going live. What day, what time you think works best for y'all. But, you know, I'm just going to this business. And so I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!